let's humanize our life. No one's going to do it for us. On the contrary, there will continue to be many forces working against us, dehumanizing the context of our life. But we can make a choice. We can choose to counteract that, to be intentional about things that are especially humanizing. And one of those is making beauty. Here I like especially to think about making the spaces of our life beautiful. You know, this, this might sound trite. I don't think it is. I think it's actually quite big. Just picture this with me for a moment, if you will. Picture going into a context of, of real poverty, maybe even squalor. But, but picture going into a home where despite the extreme poverty, there's a table. Maybe it's, it's not much of a table, but it's set to eat. And there is a little cup with a beautiful flower in it. And you have, and you just are almost overwhelmed with the sense of these people know who they are. They put a flower there to eat around. They want to be in a context that's beautiful, and they recognize here's a very simple way to beautify the space of their life and thus beautify their life. I think we can take something from that. And, and so here I might think, well, for instance, how might I beautify the space of my work? And how might I beautify my home? You know, this, this is something that I think, particularly if we're not already comfortable with, it, might think, well, oh my goodness, well, to do that, I'd have to get a professional. Maybe I should get a professional to get some help. There's nothing wrong with that. At the same time, if we can't do that, that's okay. And maybe it's actually better just to start with the kind of the simple things. Can I start by just asking, well, what can I do in, in, in very fundamental ways? Because this isn't about achieving a particular look. This is not about it matching up or being compared with other things on social media. For goodness sake, it's not about that. It's about simple, real beauty in our life. So we need, to, we need to focus on that and recognize we can take responsibility for that. Again, even if we get some help, start with very simple things, you know, keeping things clean, putting a certain order in there, and then simple aspects of decoration. Oh, well, I don't do that. I don't have a genius for that. Some people have more of a genius than others. This isn't about the genius. This is about each of us recognizing there's something uniquely and profoundly human about seeing the beautiful, making, crafting the beautiful. So I'm going to start in my own workspace and ask myself, how can I make this be a more beautiful place for me and anyone who visits me? I'm going to think more about my home. This is something, of course, I'll do together with my wife. And if my wife, as is the case for me, has a greater genius, then I'm particularly going to try to encourage her and empower her to make that happen. In, in whatever space of life it is, here's a very simple place for us to begin, for us to be intentional and ask ourselves, what can I do in my own simple ways? Sure, there'll be different tastes. I'm not sure what taste to have. You know, when in doubt, maybe turn to the time-tested. And look around, and we can start to be more observant, start to recognize beauty more as we think about beautifying our own spaces. What an amazing thing that would be, to, 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 to have a certain greater depth of soul in my ability to recognize it, just because I've started to say to myself, hey, this is important, and maybe I should tune into this in a way that I haven't. And this is a great start in rehumanizing our life by beautifying the spaces of it. I think social media has really hurt us here. We, we have an unreasonable expectation of ourselves. We, we, we picture, say, the space of our home 
being exposed to the world on social media and we think, oh, oh my goodness, well, what would it need to look like for that? Wrong question. Let's, let's just simply start with this. What can we do now to make the spaces, whichever spaces it is, of our life a little more beautiful? Simple steps, one thing at a time. Flowers, just, we can always go to flowers. God gave us flowers. It, it, beautiful leaves, a branch. C certain things that we clip from the garden or bring in from outside or get at the store and, 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 and set that up. Lighting candles. Candles are so special. A little natural light. You know, it, 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 is it putting up curtains? Is, is it a little bit of, of great art? Or maybe just something very simple we've made ourselves with an eye for beauty. Maybe it's not a showpiece, but it's something that we're proud of and that's, that, that's real. There's so many simple things we can do. It's not about perfection. It's just about going one step more in making our spaces beautiful.